What is up guys? Very shitty day out today. It's a little bit rainy, but it's a hell of a lot better than the cold. It's actually pretty warm today. Uh, anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys about my new car. I got a new vehicle that I got pretty much to daily and so that I can also tow. Uh, and I got a Escalade. Um, probably not what you guys were expecting, but uh, I figured it'd be a nicer daily. They're all-wheel drive, uh, auto start. It's got pretty much like heated seats, heated steering wheel, cooled seats, whatever. And uh, I just think it's all around going to be a really nice daily for out here. And I'm also going to be able to tow with it. It's got the 6.2 liter. It's GM, so it's what I like. I'm a kind of a Chevy guy, and you know, so it's pretty much got the same exact motor. Uh, like 80 some hundred pound towing capacity that's plenty enough for a car on a trailer uh all wheel drive which is awesome for in the snow and stuff especially when it gets bad out here i've been looking for one of these for a really long time probably a couple of months now and i probably looked at 30 or so of these things and it was really kind of difficult i really i was just trying to find the cleanest one because it is a little bit older car and i eventually came across the cleanest one i've ever seen there is next to nothing wrong with the outside of this car the chrome on the wheels is mint obviously it's kind of covered in rain so it's not the best but it is just the cleanest one i have seen you can see the interior is absolutely perfect door cards perfect seats perfect interior perfect the whole back is perfect uh this is the short wheel base model so it's not the ext i believe it's called uh so it is almost like the tahoe rather than the suburban um i wanted that i just think it looks a little bit better and uh there's no real reason for me to have any more cargo space if i want to i can fold down the back seats and the front seats i believe i'm probably not going to be modifying this thing at all i'm probably not going to be changing a whole lot at least not for a while i would like to do some things but later on but if there's any one thing that I would change right now, that would be tint. I need some 5% all the way around. The front has no tint. The back has factory whatever 20. But we just need to darken it up a little bit. I don't really like that you can see through the front windows. Right now, we're heading over to Chicago Auto Pros. They're going to go take care of me. Uh, we're going to get some tint on the Cadillac. They do a bunch of other stuff. They do ceramic coatings and some other stuff that, you know, might interest me down the line. But for right now, I think just tint is going to be okay. So we're going to head over there. It's about an hour drive from here. And uh, we're going to go check out the shop and get some tint put on. So we're almost at the shop here and uh, on the way over here since it was raining I realized that these windshield wipers have the things where it like can almost sensor when there's like water on the windshield and it'll like go faster like I didn't even have to touch the windshield wipers they literally did it automatically which is actually really cool um, another feature that is uh, you know I'd say it's pretty damn nice for you know being a little bit older car it's got a lot of really nice features that I definitely didn't get in the Jeep the Jeep was probably about as analog as it got um, I didn't have an issue with that but there is a few things that I realized that I kind of probably wanted Anyways guys, huge shout out to Chicago Auto Pros for hooking me up with 5% all the way around. Something that really needed to be done on something like this. You need to make the Cadillac as dark as possible. So we went pretty much as dark as possible. Stacked in the back and then just 5% in the front. 
And then also, since this thing was so dirty, uh, they went ahead and gave me a hand wash, which was super nice of them. I'm really happy you guys got to see it this way because whenever you first saw it, it kind of looked dirty and kind of like an old Cadillac, and it really does clean up pretty damn well. I'm super happy with the way it looks right now. Uh, obviously, you know, this isn't a crazy project. We're not really going to be doing too much. We may do some stuff later on, but honestly, for right now, this is just going to be daily slash uh, an available tow rig. Um, I understand it's not the best thing to tow. Uh, you know, I could have bought in a lot of other things that probably would have been a lot better than this thing. It's just for me, my personal taste, I think this is the best fit for me. Uh, anyways, I'm going to head home and I'm going to take you along for the rest of today. I think we may be going to the shop again. I know at the end of this video, I'm going to be putting different footage of the shop, but I may kind of make it out of order and put the shop footage of yesterday in today. I'm not sure yet. We'll figure it out. Also, this is super smart of them and I've never seen this at a tin shop before. They have these little stickers that go over the buttons so you don't accidentally roll down the windows before they uh, permanently set on there or whatever because they say that you need a couple of days until you can roll down the windows or uh, until you should roll down the windows and uh, they got it on that side too. So actually pretty cool. So I'm here at the shop and I'm not really doing anything. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the video that I filmed yesterday in the end of this video. But right now I'm just going to basically explain why I bought the Cadillac and kind of my reasoning behind why I got that rather than some of the other options that I could have gotten. Um, with what the Cadillac cost, I could have gotten a lot of vehicles. I could have gotten diesel trucks, something that was gonna be, you know, a lot better at towing than that car. Uh, it's probably one of the worst things that is able to tow that I got, uh, but pretty much, I don't really like trucks. Uh, you know, regardless of my needs, I want something that I'm gonna like, and I think it's something that I can live with for a really long time. Also, don't mind uh, Frank's in the back there welding up some stuff, and maybe we'll take a quick look. Um, anyways, I don't really like trucks, and I'm not opposed to diesel or anything, it's just, I, I don't use the bed enough. I've had two trucks, I know that I don't really care for them. I never use the bed, I think it's absolutely waste of space, that's why I'd rather have something like an SUV. Um, obviously a gasser is gonna be a little bit worse on gas mileage, actually probably a lot worse. I'm probably gonna get crazy terrible gas mileage. Uh, I already get pretty bad gas mileage, it's all wheel drive, so that eats up some of it too. I've probably driven it about three to 500 miles already, and I've only owned it for a couple of days, and so far I'm really happy with it, and um, I'm, I'm happy with my choice. I haven't towed anything major with it. Uh, I towed uh, my trailer here, and I'm gonna be towing the trailer with the compressor in there. Really, it's not that much weight, but uh, yeah, yesterday went really well. I was just towing the trailer, it was really windy, but honestly, that's next to nothing compared to a trailer and a car, um, but yeah, pretty much I kind of just wanted something nicer that I enjoy that also has a good nice big towing capacity so yeah I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting a lot of the stuff that I wanted to say uh, I can't think of it right now but uh, yeah anyways guys I hope you like my decision on car I, I I know I know a lot of you guys could give a shit about this car and I kind of wanted to get something that I don't really want to modify anyways so nothing's really gonna be happening with that really I just wanted something that's reliable and that I can tow with and pretty much that's kind of like a nicer daily so pretty much that's it probably nothing's gonna happen with it at least for a while I might I might do something later down the road like I've said a couple of times in this video but honestly I doubt it'll happen and if it happens it won't be for at the very soon it's probably like six months if you guys are in the local Chicagoland area and are interested in tinting ceramic coatings uh, expel or wraps and I think uh, just like hand washes and some more simple stuff uh, go ahead and check out Chicago Auto Pros they have an Instagram they have a YouTube their YouTube is actually really damn good especially for uh, that kind of a company if you guys are local and you want to get some work done in your car I'd highly recommend them I mean they did an amazing job on the Cadillac and I've seen some of the other cars that they did there and it's really really a nice shop and nice people to deal with so uh, anyways everything will be in the description check them out I'm gonna go ahead and roll the footage from yesterday What is up guys? Today we are gonna be working on the crest a little bit and we're gonna do absolutely as much as possible with the limited time that I'll be here. I bought them out out of uh, Bondo Glass. You can see, can's a little bit beat up. Uh, that's not the first time I dropped all those. Uh, but four cans of Bondo Glass, I think that's more than we're, we're gonna need pretty much for the whole front and the whole back and pretty much, you know, finish things off. Uh, another gallon of Bondo. I know that it's gonna take a lot just to do that front end. Um, I went to Harbor Freight. I got a, uh, what the hell is this thing called, uh, air file. 
I got an air file. And then also, uh, because of the other air file I was using, I was having a little bit of issue with uh, it using all the air in the compressor, even the big compressor. Uh, I am gonna be bringing the other compressor. We're not gonna be using that one with this thing. Uh, so I got a, uh, what are they? This is like a, uh, this is a regulator here, and so that way I'll be able to just regulate the air going into this uh, just as much as it needs, rather than putting all, you know, a bunch of excess air and just wasting all the air that's in the other compressor. And that way, hopefully, we'll be able to just sit there and just blast it until the stuff is absolutely as straight as possible because uh, this rear end is taking absolutely forever, and it is just a ton of blocking and this top piece, realistically, not bad at all. I'm not even really concerned about that. I'm concerned from like here down, it just needs a shit ton of blocking and it's gonna absolutely suck if I had to do it by hand. So I'm just gonna use this thing, I'm just gonna bring the other compressor over here and we're just gonna just sit there for like two hours and just hold it there because these things really do suck. They really don't really do that good but I guess this is kind of what they're for is when you just need to block the shit out of something and you know it's better than actually blocking it. Uh, it's a whole lot easier anyways. Um, and then anyways last thing that I got recommended by Frank is a drywall repair kit. I, th I thought it was like a called a spackle like uh, thing or whatever but I basically bought this only because I couldn't find the ind individual thing that I wanted. It was just this real big one right here. It's basically a giant uh, Bondo like spreader and this way we can get the flattest spreads or uh, fattest wipes possible uh, you know and, and fattest and flattest. Uh, I think that you know when we do our huge wipes here with our Bondo I think this will just make it a little bit easier and I figured, I mean, it's kind of basically used for filler, just not for cars. Um, and then came with some other stuff too, I guess it came with a smaller one that we could probably use eventually. But so anyways, I'm going to get started on this long nose. I think I'm gonna use that giant spackle thing and see if I can try and use some Bondo glass on this. I'm not sure if the camera got me finishing this up, but this is probably the smoothest, the cleanest wipe that I have ever seen. So pretty much I think that's gonna be it for today. Uh, right now I'm going to take the trailer home. I'm gonna hook it up to our new tow vehicle, which you guys should know by now, because I'm gonna put this at the end of tomorrow's vlog, which is the end of today's video. So anyways, I gotta go to Walmart and I gotta get a specific like GM plug or whatever so that way I can hook it up to this trailer and have some trailer lights since it is dark out. And then uh, pretty much we'll be able to drag the, the big compressor here and start using that air file. And it'll be a whole lot nicer than these two crappy little air compressors. So anyways guys, I think that's pretty much gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video and peace out. Mm -hmm.